this is not what I had intended on doing, but I have been wanting to do something like this for a while. I've been creating content for quite a while now. I have done a lot of Let's Plays. Now, from the beginning, we are going to rank them in the, not necessarily order that I did them, but how I feel about the quality of the Let's Play that I did. We're probably just going to go through a single video of maybe two or three videos of like middle-ish sections of the Let's Play and go from there. I probably won't spend too much time on each individual Let's Play, as well, like each individual game by itself. I just want to get a little bit of a, of a feel for how I portrayed the game, you know, so like whether it's, you know, one of the best I've ever done, whether it's like, you know, it's good. It, it, it's probably worth a replay at some point. Um, okay, you know, middle of the pack, average, you know. Uh, poor is probably something I would not play again, um, but I don't, I mean, I mean, I guess okay is probably a better, better feel for what I classify as good for a one-off game. Um, poor is, I fairly, I like struggled to like force myself to finish this. And I didn't really feel good about playing it when I was going through it. And the Let's Play kind of suffered as a whole because of it. And uh, Regrets is I just regret doing it. Um, there is actually one game on here that I know for sure I did, but I did not do. And I probably deleted the videos because they were so ass. <laughs> and uh, that one game I know for sure goes in, goes in Regrets is uh, Rogue Warrior. because. I don't even want to talk about it too much because I just know that game was complete dog shit. I think I finished it in like four videos or something and it was it was basically on rails. And that's not to say some of the other games aren't that we're going to get to. Um, but we will just get through them as they, they arise. So, game one, Kingdom Hearts. First things first. The length of time in some of these videos that I don't know if you can see it very well, they're all less than 15 minutes long. I don't know if you still have the ability to upload longer than 15 minute videos when you first start making a channel. So that's sort of what I did. And that as a format right away hindered this Let's Play as a whole. Hopefully the audio isn't blasting. That scene. Main antagonistic storyline. Uh, yeah. Which is, okay. they need uh, seven princesses of heart, which... I'm not even going to subject you to the more, any more than that. That is my microphone, my quality. And it is uh, not good. That is the quality for the entire Let's Play. And I don't end up getting a mic until way later. Because of that, and sort of, it's not necessarily me just fumbling about. It is... <laughs> abysmal you know, in audio quality. So just for that, I'm going to put it in port. Not necessarily, I don't regret playing it, but it's... Whew. Immediately after that, I did Kingdom Hearts, which was even longer and subjected me to burnout. There was a period of time where I really struggled to get through this game. Not only was it victim to the same 15-minute time limit videos as a whole, it lasted way too long. 90 videos of literally, I don't know, it just, it didn't hold up and it does not hold up into the middle of time. So let's just go through these. Them correct. How many times? More, that? more audio shit. Wisdom. More audio troubles. Favors for fuck. I'm still talking to, I'm still talking over cutscenes. It's not very like informative. It's just sort of me. Fuck you, Jafar. Cursing like every two seconds, which is if you're just starting out, that's not a good idea unless you like make it part of your personality, and that's not who I am. Obviously, I've grown as a person since then. Um, you know, because this was me like 18, 19 years old, it's like I don't know what I'm doing, I just didn't have a good, vo good enough vocabulary to articulate my thoughts, which is you know something you sort of grow into as a person. And because of this, I'm, I'm cursing like all the time because of this, and because of the poor mic quality, I have to put it in poor. I could redo it. One, I don't have a PS2. I maybe could emulate it, but like I don't know, whatever. Um, and two, just don't 
feel like I could get my point across or do it justice. So into poor it goes. Mass Effect, I think, is where I got the new mic. Let's start here because I have a feeling it was like halfway through Mass Effect 1 is when I got my mic. Hey guys, welcome back to oh. another episode of VLP. Uh, oh. I believe... I guess it was before. We are going to... Hi, Corlin. Um, going to... Um... Again, it's just sort of slow. Okay. I didn't have a coherent thought process. It's very uh, monotone, and it didn't have, like, a good stream of consciousness. Okay. okay. A lot of okays, ums, uhs. Let's see how, how later is. I like that view. <laughs> Ooh, this, might, this audio quality is <laughs> Just all is that garbage. shit's going on, and I'm just sitting here admiring the view. <laughs> yeah, audio quality is terrible. Speaking too loud on the mic, it's just, I don't know, well, I just, that's not you. boring, there's no, no real editing, it's just like, the clip every now and then, which is terrible, I just sort of left it in, doing nothing, I could have probably just cut this entire uh, sequence out, and been fine, I don't know, it's just not, not a good coherent, uh, left play, as a whole. But and for that, even though the audio quality is better, like I could probably still do better. So I'm not, but I'm not sure that if I were to replay it, I would be able to do better. I mean, obviously I would be able to because I have a better stream of consciousness these days. But I don't know if the audio quality holds it back enough for me to put it in poor or not. Um, let's let's go to one of the nearing the end let's go what is this what, what is this so do, i guess i go back here sure i don't know what i'm doing still not not saying anything of substance we'll just fumbling about what is happening that's right what like letters and words and sh are you being out. able to translate or die i am an advanced no die yeah, this is, this is, you? this is, this is abysmal. All right, so, I have my verdict. This goes in poor. It's just, I, I, nothing of substance goes on in this last play. So, as such, the game suffers as a whole because of it. Saints Row the Third. This was around the time where this game had just come out, and I was really into um, a fellow content creator, All Sham No Out. And he also did a Let's Play of this game. Um, so I tried to follow suit and do this one myself. Didn't necessarily do it the same way. There is a vast difference between his Let's Play and mine. Meaning, obviously, he has more comedic timing than I do. I guess let's just do... No, yes. no conviction. No... Uh, forwardness. No, I mean this is basically just GTA, but making fun God of it. Damn it. Still cursing every two seconds. Obviously. Still plucking way too loud. Still no audio fixing. Any any commentary? Any words? Any? Why am I not shooting this thing? Anything? Any anything? Why not? What are you saying? Oh shit! Oh damn it! Am I dead? What's gonna happen? Run away! Oh, I'm dead? Here. Okay. Oh damn it! Here, yeah. Uh, another shit here. Like you'll notice. A lot of these early let's plays they're just not good and i think it's when i was trying to still get my footing as a content creator trying to figure out what 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 to do Oni is a game that is near and dear to my heart um, i really liked playing this game and this is probably in my top 10 favorite games of all time and the issue is again it's an audio issue in this game like there's a lot of oh, i had my mic yeah. to uh, like way too close, the audio was way too fucked up. 
Like I'm just peeking all over the place. Like it's just I'm way too close to this this mic. It's just it's abysmal. It's terrible. There's again, I'm still oh, I'm just peeking all over the place. This this is not good. However, the game as a whole, I really enjoyed. I I, I love this game so much, which is why I did an LP of it. But again, it's really just that one time playthrough game because you already know all those tips and tricks you know what's going to happen you know what's going to come through the game is very good but like i said the audio is just really really scuffed and i'm not sure when it changes but mass effect 2 is pretty similar Welcome back to it's a little effect better two. it's a little better uh, uh, is no coherent thought Little better. Where is anything of substance? More cutscenes. No. Yay! Yay! Slash cheer! Yay! You're stopping me, but not them? You son of a bitch. You don't know how to grenade like <laughs> Speaking while laughing, yikes. Yeah, let's um Okay. Let's let's find something else. Cause maybe I fix it later. I doubt it. Any any sort of substance, any sort of attention. I didn't want that. Any sort of anything? Any commentary? No shields, Commander Shepard. No. C M D R Shepard. Words. What are they? Yeah, it is about to get fun, Jack. Fuck. Nothing. Really? What are you, what are you doing, Baron? Stop. Ass. Ass. Absolute ass. More ass. Hammered dog shit. Okay. How do I do it? How do I say this? Borderlands was not just myself. It was a collaborative effort between myself and a buddy of mine. We did sort of have the same uh, okay. issue where the audio was sort of all over the place, but because it, it was sort of one person or one mic with two different audio sources, it really caused some problems audio wise. Less so because I'm pretty sure we were both playing on keyboard and mouse with a microphone like in between us. So oh, maybe the keys clicking is less noticeable. Uh, There's still. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm getting close too. I'm, I didn't even realize. Well, you can still kind of hear it. All of the money. Oh, is, there... is this? I think everybody's dead. Hold on. No, this was. We're all now. Was I playing on right. controller for this? No. What? No, this was oh, definitely. You got the... What is this? I mean, it's it's fine. Breaker. It's again, we're running around. No, it's, oh, God damn it. oh no. What are you? Oh my god! What? What? Oh my god! What is it? Yeah. I could have fixed that. I could have fixed that. But then again, this was where, like, this was at a time when I didn't really know what I was doing audio, well, audio wise, and I still don't really know, but it's basically there. I don't know. Let, let me let me go to a different video. Let me see. Let's see another one. Because I think this one was a little better as a whole. All right, guys. Uh, what's going on? Welcome Yikes. back to another episode of Borderlands. Yikes. Uh, we are somehow... I'm pretty sure I'm playing on a controller. I, I don't it doesn't make sense that I would be playing on a PC. You can hear my keys clicking. I don't understand. We will just see you at Steel. Cause this is, this is me yelling for no reason? I'm playing on a controller. I'm pretty sure. Oh, Goodbye. you know what? I'm playing on a controller, and my buddy is playing on keyboard and mouse. Ow. That Sarah makes sense. That's yeah, why you can I'm hear it. The one on the wall. Okay. I my verdict. It's okay. It's okay. It's just okay. I feel like it is better as a whole, but I think it's at the bottom of okay. Bottom of okay because can I organize these in any sort of order? Yes, I think I will. Let's um 
I suggest it. Saints Row the Third is probably the very bottom, just because it's me cursing a lot, no stream of consciousness, no no sort of anything. Kingdom Hearts, Kingdom Hearts 2 was better. I think Mass Effect 1 was... Do I regret playing Saints Row? Do I regret playing Saints Row? That's a good question. Never thought about that. It's interesting. Because I, I never would have thought that I would have regretted playing it. Because it is sort of just a cheap knockoff of all Sham Noels. An interesting development. Wouldn't have thought that. Tomb Raider. All right, guys. Uh, what's going on? Welcome back to another. Let's log. Yay. Okay. Oh, it was just over here. I didn't. I didn't know that. What's in here? Can I not? I can't not do. All right. Well, at least there is some sort of. That was awesome. Beam of consciousness. Salvage, but it's not even like necessary. Anything? Yeah, 20 salvage, so. Um, so, I'm locked. Oh my god. Life! That's. Speaking over cutscenes a lot. <laughs> Overwhelming the cutscenes and all, so you can't hear anything. Alrighty then, so just stay by the fire. This was completely unintentional. Mm. And I can't even do anything with it. Okay, well. I still hate this this audio, and I don't think the audio gets any better until like two years ago. So it's it's gonna be a while before my audio problems get fixed. All right. Uh, what... fuck. Where the shit are you? It's a little better. Am I playing on controller? What is happening? No, no that's my mouse. See... E. Yeah, no, that was okay. Weird. Is where it was. Man, I feel like a lot of these. Right. The issue that I'm running into is I feel like a lot of these games are hindered by the fact that my audio is complete and utter. Yeah. Tomb Raider, I think, also falls into this category, but a little bit less so. Because it sort of has more substance. The game as a whole, not 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 necessarily my commentary, but there was a little bit more developing. Like like the game the game had more going on. Like that thing. Which which caused me to it's like at least have a up. little bit more <laughs> thought processes going on. Wait a minute. That was some, how do I do that? Monotone what commentary. Are doing here? Okay, I got No that. real thought processes. God, that's so annoying. That is so goddamn annoying. More cursing for no reason. Let me let me bring something else up that I thought may or may not have something to do with this. the the video length of the of these videos themselves, like 12, 15, 13. It would be different if these videos had like substance behind them, but I have a feeling that a lot of these videos, like these 35, 40 part Let's plays, they, they're that short because I didn't cut any of the fluff out, and I just sort of left it, which is sort of a detractor now that I'm thinking about it, because the later Let's Plays that I've done are more refined and more coherent, like Lies of P, Elden Ring. Lies of P, that took me like 35 hours or so, and I got it down to 15, 15 episodes in like 20, 15, 20 minute segments, which is a lot of footage cut out. Um, Tomb Raider was only about 20 hours or so, 15, 20 hours or so. And it basically all of that is in. It's basically just me hitting record, syncing it up, maybe putting a little bit of, of cuts there just to cut out the, the absolute abysmal shit I did and uploading it. So they are very unrefined in my editing process early on. Um, and at this point, I am one year in to my content creation space and my videos are still about the same as they were when I first started. Like my mic quality is a little better, but overall as a whole, no, no. 
They're still not doing it. But two mirrors are okay. And I think it's gonna go above Borderlands just because there is more because it's just one person as opposed to two having more coherent thought processes, Borderlands by itself is fine. Two meter I enjoyed more. Not as much as only. Okay. So with that being said, Mass Effect 3. Is this gonna suffer from the same problem? It might. It might suffer from the same problem. But the issue is there is a lot more going on in, in Mass Effect 3. Because I did do all the DLC, like all the DLC. I did Citadel, Leviathan, and Omega, all three of which are fantastic DLC. Uh, Citadel is still probably one of the best DLCs that I have ever played. But the base game itself, I think, suffers from the same problem. All right, guys, uh, what's going on? Welcome back to another episode of Mass Effect yeah. 3. Uh, when I'm doing this, because I, I don't, I, I'm just dumb and I don't know where I'm going. Same, same thing. Checking. There's actually nothing over here. It's the same thing. It suffers from the same problem. So at least Wait, I'm not. Why can't you just stop? Still talking over cutscene. Take care. Of I think I, I think this suffers from a an issue of I have played this game before and thus I know what's hap what's going to happen and part of me struggles to come up with new ideas than what I've previously experienced and that hinders my formulating of new ideas and as such i think as a whole this just continues on throughout the entirety of let's play uh what's going on welcome back to the episode of mass effect 3 uh we're finishing up sanctuary this time around um trying to actually move yep so so complaining boys in the fucking room so yelling so complaining so bitching for no reason yeah okay all right let's um If I could, I'd redo it. But I, I, I like having my first Let's Play of a game sort of left alone as a baseline of how I did it and how I can improve. I think it's going to be getting better soon. I don't know. I just have an idea that one of these games is going to be a regret. All right, so next up was... An actual regret. Like an actual, actual regret. Remember me. The issue with Remember Me was it's very contrived. And by that I mean Alright, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the, the premise itself uh, is sort of bland. Like the say? game is fine. Like the game is actually kind of hmm, maybe I'm being too harsh overall. Let me think. I think I'm being too restrictive on the audio problems because I didn't necessarily fix them until later on. And, and by that I mean like maybe Dark Souls 3? Dark Souls 2? It's, 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 it's a long time. Because I had the Yeti and I didn't really have a way of prohibiting the click clacks of the mic. I mean I probably could have found a spot for it but with my restrictions a I sort of had to deal with what I had time and this was I think what I think I'm, I'm have to start doing is judging it based on the quality of the let's play and not my overall commentary but I don't think I can completely negate the commentary um, and I just remember my vocabulary being a lot of cursing all the time and I don't know when that stops. I have a feeling. I do really. I did. I did enjoy this gameplay. The problem was. It was a little repetitive. And it was very. Mirror's Edge esque. Which I really. Like, Mirror's Edge is probably one of my. One of my favorite games of all time. But the problem is. It's very short. Very linear. Very. Basic in terms of execution. And Remember Me is sort of along the same lines. Shit, Al. Fucking son of a bitch. Wow. Dodging that invisible dude that attacked okay. me. 
very very obvious where to go what to do more more nothings more nothings that's it I mean, the audio levels for the cutscenes yeah, are fine. Well, yeah, I'll see you later. Not really. Still sorry, Tommy. lacking vocabulary. The lacking vocabulary. Let's uh, let's go a little deeper. Shall we? I wasn't exactly paying attention to what you were saying, Edge. I've got shit of my own to deal with. Any sort of anything? Yep, more, Did more I just anything. Kill myself? No. Nothing. Okay, that's what I gotta do. It's timing. I don't. Care. More just talking about what is happening. Random cutscene. Haven't said a word in ten seconds. Fifteen right, seconds. Well, okay. Cool. Yeah. Random. No cutscenes for fifteen seconds. I have formulated my opinion, and yes, I regret playing Remember Me, because not only was the game ass, the commentary itself left way too much to be desired, and don't think that game has any redeeming qualities to it. Um, even with, like, even if you were the most talkative person in the world, there's no way. There is simply no way. FF7. I did this right about the time the PC port of FF7 came out. I just do random one and desk two. Uh, last time we actually found Sephiroth in the northern crater, which was kind of weird, uh, seeing as how we've been chasing him forever. Uh, but now we lost Cloud and we have to go to Junon. The audio's fine. Uh, at Junon. It's a little loud, but um, we have to. The audio's no, okay. It's what happened. Yeah. Okay. No coherent thought process, oh. though, which is unfortunate because probably could. Okay, well, now see more things here. So I need to go up here and more blah commentary. High wind. Um, the mm. I think I did this from the perspective of someone who has never played Final Fantasy VII before, which was interesting because I can't imagine anyone who has not played Final Fantasy VII before. And saying this, I'm not sure this holds up. But as a whole, I would say it's poor. Even though I'm firmly of the opinion that, well, maybe it's okay. It's probably okay. It's probably just okay. The very bottom of okay. We will just do Manhunt. Manhunt is a game that I really like. Is there a way for me to get over to K without going through that door? Yes, right here. This was during the era of me playing a few games, or rather, me recording longer episodes and then chunking them up into, like, segments here and there. So, like, for example, I would record, let's say, an hour of content. And then during that hour, I would do, like, I don't know, two or three levels, depending on the game. Um, for a game like Manhunt, it would be like two levels or so. And in that time span, I would cut very little out. It would just be me trying to train together a coherent thought process along the way, then chop that up into like three 20-ish minute episodes, and that would be 15, 16, and 17 episodes, or, or, or whatever it would be. Um, that being said, I don't know if that's better. Intro content, outro, that, that type of style. Um, regardless. All right. Now I can grab these guys' painkillers. There is a little bit more coherency, I think. Help myself. Because I, this game is sort of... Shall I get close enough to take one out? I'll say Hitman-esque in the type of gameplay loop it requires. Like, you sort of have to oh, style yourself as a, as a sort of... Stealth. I mean, I guess this is part of the, part of the game where you're supposed to like not get caught. All right, too dead. Around, I'm gonna shoot him. I probably could have just cut a lot of this out, 
I think because of me including literally almost every second of gameplay. I'm not sure huh. that this suffers, but it does sort of give me you have a shotgun. more ideas ideas to work with. But I think as a whole, let's uh let's before I formulate my, my final thoughts, let's um let's get another another video because I have a feeling that's just going to reinforce my 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 thoughts. Alright, well, what's going this on? This was guys? a First episode? Sure. Okay. Okay. Now we're approaching... I don't care. ...more of my current style? It's getting there. I'm gonna assassinate you. Execute, whatever. Mm. You got heavy mm. pistol ammo. There's nothing else in here besides okay. the stairs and get fucking cornered. Audio seemed a little better? Uh -oh, I'm still here. Clear. What does it look like when I die? There's pain killers there. Hello, buddies! Hey, I wanted to play pool with you guys. You didn't have to shoot me, I just wanted to play pool. I wanted to sure. relax. No. It still feels like a current LP of mine, which is sort of. I'm hitting my style. Oh. Hello. Yep. <laughs> good, good. Okay. Cool. I have my opinion. Manhunt is good. He is good. I like it a lot. I, I like Manhunt. Now, I can't be saying the same thing for Manhunt 2. We'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Oh, crack down. Right. I have a feeling this is going to be one I regret. Um, because it is audio trouble. I'm pretty sure. Press agency intel for you, agent. Oh, hi, guys. Yeah, and it's the opposite way of what I was thinking of. Because usually the audio is just complete, completely shit. But I think in this, the audio is too quiet. Rather, my audio, my audio, the commentary volume is too, too quiet. And then the, the game audio is way too loud. So it's sort of the inverse audio problem. Yes, it's the inverse audio problem for everything else, which is going to be a recurring theme in this game. Well, this is a little bit louder. Uh, game is still too loud. I'm too loud. I'm too loud. Just the audio is all over the place. Plus, the game itself is not very fun. I'll leave it like that. Contrary to what people might say, I really liked Blood Rain. Like, Blood Rain as a whole, the game was very good. Well, I say very good. The game was okay. The game was okay. Um, however, it doesn't necessarily mean it's free of flaws. The game is very flawed. The game has its downsides, for sure. I don't know what that means. And it also has... The oh. physics return! You go physics. <laughs> because obviously it does. This was definitely the era, era of Google physics just being everywhere. This was like... Dead or Alive, Blood Rain, this like female anatomy, hyper specific physic needing to be perfect. I don't know. It's just like just that era of of, of physics happening. Just all at once. This door cannot be open. Where the fuck? Do I turn the, audio, the elevator down? The audio seems to be fine. Commentary is a little lacking. No, not this one. Get away from me! Get away from me, you bitch! Fuck you! How did I do lacking it the first time? In, lacking in substance is a, definitely a phrase I would use. Any any commentaries? And okay. Okay, good. That was unintentional. Three words in 20 seconds. My opinion. And it's right on the border. I'm pretty sure it's right on the border. The audio is fine. The theme is dark. We... The video is oh, dark. Three of you guys. The video is so dark. Um, we face... You cannot see anything here. Uh, you literally cannot see anything. I mean, the game's fine. Audio is a little loud. 
Give me food. Are you gonna survive? Stop. It feels Stop like me. this feels like no one we had no idea that drop. Hmm. Interesting. Handsome. Are you are you hitting on the, the It's obviously a ploy. Because she's obviously an undercover undercover, but she's sort of tasked with dismantling the Nazis in World War Two. And it's a distraction tank. Because obviously she's a vampire. Commentary is a little bit lacking at times. Game audio is a little loud. Say something? Hurts. No. This is a bad idea. This this was a bad idea. I have no no coherent okay. thought process. Uh, I don't have I don't have blood rage. Just kidding. Dead. Again. Doing nothing. I probably that could. Like way too easy. Interesting. I I have a feeling I could have done a little more in terms of commentary. But, be, but I think it's probably at the very top of okay. I'm fine with that. I'm happy. I am happy with that. <sighs> Binary domain. I regret playing this. I'm just going to say it straight up. It doesn't have the substance. And I think it doesn't take ser itself seriously enough as a game to warrant a let's play. Because sort of the game needs to have enough substance to where you're trying to inject your personality into the commentary to give the game life but binary domain it's it inherently didn't take itself seriously and with that being said there wasn't enough jokes i could crack there wasn't enough commentary i could do because the game was just all over the place and i'll show you what i mean like, the entire point of this game was you're trying to find this guy's family. The end of it, like, you, you fall in love with one of your, 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 your partners. Saying you picking anything up? Oui, monsieur. Yeah, the need to duck. Like, like, seriously. What the fuck was that? Obviously, that's supposed to be a joke. Like, it doesn't take itself seriously enough to, to, to try that. And again, there's audio troubles here. Like, like the cutscenes are too loud. My audio is like completely fucked up. It's just not, not good enough. This is. There's a betrayal. I just. What the fuck? I'm not even gonna say any more than that. Because I just know. Binary domain suck. I don't regret playing it, but it left a lot to be desired. And there's not much more I can say about that. I'm just gonna put Dark Souls in port. Um, if you joined me recently, you'll know that I basically have become Dark Souls, Elden Ring, a Souls-like fanatic. I say fanatic in, in air quotes, but like, I've been delving into the world of Souls-like challenge runs. And this game started all that for me. Um, because otherwise, A, I didn't know what I was going to get myself into because someone gifted this game to me, and little did I know the journey it would take me. Um, B, I really approach this from the lens of a regular RPG, and I didn't understand that that's not what you have to do in Dark Souls games. I sort of neglected to learn about the world as I was going around, and I still approach this from if you're not able to beat something, you have to grind. And that's not the answer. Because there's always a path forward. Um, and usually grinding is not the answer. And now I know that. It's just a matter of time and learning and understanding. And I think Dark Souls 
as a franchise really pushed me to become the gamer I am today. Um, that being said, I'm just going to like, look at these 15 minutes, 15 minutes, 12 minutes, eight minutes. Like, like seriously, what the fuck happened? And listen to this audio. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the episode of I just sound Souls. defeated. I don't I have, I, I mean, there's that. more edits. There's uh, less well, dead space. Oh crap. More commentary. Just, I'm using bonfire and I, I, mean, I said, I, I don't remember. It, the game is just so slow, and I think, I don't know if that's just You're really not that difficult. part of like at all. Dark Souls itself, or... Like... Hello? Okay. Very monotone, very bland. I'm still doing nothing. Great club. Bad idea. Okay then. Any words? Nope. Okay. Bad idea. And that's Dark Souls. That is like 30 episodes of Dark Souls. Right there. And because of that, we're in poor? Weird. I don't think binary domain. Well, I think Mass Effect 3 is like here. Binary domain is probably here. Feels about right. This feels right. Here. I think. Hmm. 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 Another 15 minute of 15 minute game. But the thing is, like, it started here. I recorded something, but the problem was a lot of it I just cut out. So this is like a five minute fucking episode of nothing. Let's just. Just check this out. All right, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to the episode of Fear, First Encounter with Soul Recon. The audio's fine. Let me try to read that fucking chicken. That, okay, that turned on the elevators. I have a coherent thought process. Hmm. I, I think, so, not, it's not necessarily a problem, but the audio in this game, it's very bad. Very quiet, the dialogue, because I don't know if it was just some sort of technical difficulties. With the audio but the enemy dialogue is super quiet and it's not even the enemy dialogue it's just all dialogue in general is super quiet it's like minus 20 dbs you can you can barely hear it even when the volume like cranked all the way up it's just super shit and because it's tied to the sound effects if i put it any higher the gun audio you hear it's not going to be intelligible at all god damn it can't even see anything. Hmm. Random cut for no reason. Laptop right smack in the middle of the Ramble Meyer Industrial Compound. I mean, at least you can hear it. The place has been shut down for years. Okay. Anything Why else? There? Well, I did a little text. Proximity audio and full effect. It's not bad overall. All right, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to Episode of Fear. First, kind of result we can. The audio's uh, fine. Last time we did some. I'm there's the editing of Alma. Fuck. Random cutting. What's the cutting? Trying to understand cutscenes. Yeah. Here's good. Here's good. I like it a lot. It's more along the lines of my current style of let's play. It has good structure. It has relatively coherent editing, it has thought processes, it has trying to understand the story, it has audio semblance of structure, it's just a more coherent let's play as a whole. Now, I will say I regret playing Pokemon Emerald, and I'm not even going to go into it, because like, this was basically just gym to gym, and it's like nothing nothing like i could have done this in like one video one video what the, uh, whatever her name is the one at the flying gym it shouldn't really be that difficult uh um, but hey we have a little friend here i want to face him this is 
this is again from the same perspective as if no one has played Pokemon Emerald before, which is just absolutely ridiculous. Like if you have not played Emerald, why? And who? Really? This is what I'm doing? I don't even want to. It's still the same lackluster structure. It doesn't have any it's not any form of let, let me let me see something real quick. How often do I curse in this game? Because that might be a detriment. How did you not die from that Puchiana? Okay, so aren't you one of the red orbs? Yes, who I'm not even gonna, so, I don't even care that I don't curse. It's poor. It is the definition of, of regret because it could have been done so much better. It could have been done more coherently and it just it needed more structure and it needed more time. Wolf Among Us. The Wolf Among Us I don't remember a lot about it. I know it's sort of fairy tale. Yeah, yeah you son of a bitch. Hmm. No? No. Didn't think so. Okay. So, that is me, the entire LP. Now, I will say, Wolf Among Us is an incredible game. But, it just has to go in okay. Just because of my. Constant commentary. Um, is it, I think it's here. I think it's, well, I think it's worse than Tomb Raider, actually. Yeah, that seems right. And then Walking Dead. So, Walking Dead. I think this was along the same lines as Wolf Among Us. Audio is a little fucked up. Hmm. It looks to me like they just, you know. Snuck in while we were sleeping and took the hat. Didn't care. Audio is pretty fucked up. Hey, so what? No. What were you and Kitty arguing about when I came? <laughs> Just change the subject. This doesn't really lend itself to a let's play style game because there's so much dialogue. I can't really make jokes or insert my personality into this game when it's so serious all the time. I'm just gonna. It's, 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 mm, mm, very, I think my commentary is very over the top exclamatory. And what I mean by that is like very, ah, ah, you know, I raise my voice, I raise my voice to indicate that there's more going on, which is not the best style of commentary to what I have been doing recently. It's fine. I think it's just okay. But I wouldn't necessarily call it poor. I think it's around here. All right. So next up is Borderlands. Borderlands. Borderlands Two is another cooperative. Let's play. I do think this one had a little more structure going on, but because it was sort of... Oh, let me give you some context. This was not done in the same environment as previously. This was done over the, over the internet with him sending me his content later. And previously it was, we were in the same room coordinating and then just recording in the same room. <laughs> This feels more structured. So hi Tina. How you doing? This feels I don't know. Dare you. I can't tell. You need a drink as you're running away? You fucking drunk bitch. Fuck you. I hate the people of Sanctuary, they're fucking Alright. Um assholes. What? Lilith! I don't know how why <laughs> why how explain fuck you hyperion i hate you bye jack Okay. Borderlands 2. 
I, I think, I think it's poor, but it's not necessarily poor in a gameplay quality. It's poor in a commentary quality. It's still filled with me cursing, me, me talking over cutscenes, blah, 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 you know, same old song and dance. Things are not progressing. And my, uh, my style has been sort of defined by cursing, which is still something I'm not proud of. And I, I wanted to sort of try to get away from that. But it hasn't done that yet. All right, what's going on, guys? Welcome I'm still back. talking over right. to cutscenes. you watched last episode, you would... Well, not... Audio's fine. Which is the Bible. Audio's good. Let me do that. I have a thought process. I can't see anything over there. I missed. I have structure. Commentary. He's, oh, he, he moved. At least there's some semblance of commentary. Hello? I refuse to allow it. Heavy. Fuck my life. Fuck my life. Uh, panic? It's a recent... Let's play. Well, I say recent. But it, it's still got my my structure. Still got my same same, same style. I'm trying to run. It's got fuck. Okay. got everything. Sort of does it does everything on itself by itself. And it still has my style of commentary. And wait for them to. Is a thought process. Okay. I can't see anything in the storm behind the flash. Can I? I got them all. Oh, the editing. I, I cut out. out. I cut it out. All right. Drop the line. Is it better than fear? I think it is. I think so far it's good. Hmm. 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 Is it so far above Manhunt that it goes in the best game? Let me sit on that for a little bit. Let me think about it. Manhunt 2. Which, so there, I, I'm pretty sure this is just more of the same. And I don't think it was nearly as good as Manhunt 1. Good God, it's a bright light. Alright, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to, I guess, a fucking reimagining or a re in. There's no. What the hell is up with these vehicles and shit? I uh, ignore it. Through the fucking. Okay. Cool. Uh... More editing. Yeah, I am literally right there. Damn it, why do you? You're well, running backwards. How the fuck? It's not bad. I'm trying. Point. Yes. Some substance. It has some semblance of structure. Control. Of fucking course, right? What is that? Is that an auto shot? Still all over the place. In terms of commentary and cohesiveness. Still fumbling around. At least there's editing to. How the hell did I whiff? Alright, so yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed. I guess my return to Manhunt. It could. It could be better. I think it's okay. I think it's like about here. I think it's okay. I mean, it's got, it has at least a little bit of cohesion to it. It's got some stuff going on. It seems to be a recurring theme. That um, Borderlands was the final collaborative effort between the buddy and mine. <laughs> uh, should I run past there is more editing. I'm going to. Audio is a little scuffed. Ammo. Maybe if I try hard enough, but I'm not going to do that. Audio is fine, except for the keyboard clicks. I think. Okay. So I think this is the worst of them, because while yes, Borderlands itself does have good. Replayability with with um multiplayer. 
there's a lot of comedy behind it. And there's not a lot of space to insert your own personality to it, which sort of just lends these playthroughs of ours to just take things as they come and sort of be a little lackluster in terms of commentary. This is a whole lot of nothing. This is a whole lot of nothing. Well, there is, there is structure, I think. It's, it's sort of teamwork? Collaboration? This was probably in the same in area as <laughs> this might have been in the same room i don't remember but it sounds like it was in the same room and as such we can sort of riff off each other a little better in person because we can see what the other person's doing we can see where they are see what they're doing see what equipment they have better it's I like how I just ignore it. <laughs> I'm trying to end the episode here. Son of a bitch! <laughs> oh my god! Can everybody just shut the fuck up? <laughs> Yeah, it's good. It has more editing involved with here. Hmm. Yeah, that's about right. I don't even know what to say about this game. Murdered Soul Suspect is a big regret of mine. Because not only is it a really bad game, it's sort of very obvious what I need to do. And it's very contrived. And it's very why why was predictable back here doing this? what caused that mark on the wall yes republic a point and click escape room game it's probably okay as like a, a pc port but it doesn't exactly feel you good don't even need anything you know never mind that's awesome now go through the door, Hope. More editing. Uh, it has a coherent now structure, at least. Come through this door. Uh, they could be here all night. The issue with this game is, in particular, is... You, what is your idea? I know I curse a lot in this game. And I'm not proud of that, but... There's also not a lot going on. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is it. And we're now well first. Get... No structure, or no coherent thoughts. Manager was on his way over to the office. Unless, unless, I, I understand how she was helping us when Derringer was on his way over to the office. Unless she said, "Hey, there's some. You should probably figure out your red guard." Hi. Maddie, shut up! Fuck! I'm trying to have a moment here, goddammit! There's comedy there. There's structure. That's... Uh, I... Well, I mean, it's fine. It's okay. There's just not a lot going on. Might have... I don't know. I have no idea. Not a clue. It seems like there's less structure going on. The further I get in the game. It's an interesting take on the puzzle game. And I'm not sure there's enough of my personality shining through. What? I think I think it's about right here. This feels right. I think it, let me adjust this. I think here, I think this feels right. Singularity, back to the sub 15 LPs I see. I, I have a feeling 
this is another game where it's an audio issue. You know, I've been sitting like this for, I don't know, I don't know how long. Um, and it's just been keeping, keeping... Uh, no substance? Okay. This game... It's very thing right here. bland. Still it's very ten off. God damn it. monotonous. There's no thought process. I need I need more context. I need more context. I have no idea what's happening. Alright, what's going on guys? Welcome back to Singularity. Hmm. Fuck my life. I'm out of fucking nowhere. You weren't even You asshole. Well, gotta go Race down. Race who? It's a boss battle. He is pain in my assholes. Awesome. Okay. And Translation error. I haven't error. seen a note in nice. forever. <laughs> health pack was just going away. Okay, good. It's still here. No, not engaging. No, not engaging commentary. I don't know how much you take then. Gameplay sucks. Cool. Singularity. Regret. I had a feeling it was going to be a regret regardless. Uh, this is sort of in no particular order, but I think I think it's right here. I think it's sort of in this realm. Okay. Scrim. This audio suck. What am I doing? What? Oh, right. Fuck my life. So this is a commentary issue. This is a commentary problem. Lock this. At least there's editing. Uh, okay. Well, how about... Is there going to be some, some form of dialogue, at least? You're Parthenite? Why would you... Audio's okay. I'm lost. I wouldn't expect you to be a dragon. Prophecy says that only the dragonborn can stop him, but... Why do I want to stop him? That doesn't answer the question. I like his voice. My questions leave lots to be desired, and my commentary is quite lacking overall. Outside times? The hell does that mean? I, what? There is a lot of variance in my dialogue that still don't makes sense to me How does... I'm trying to understand but at the same time the the dialogue in skyrim is so heavy and it's almost unintelligible at times which means there can be a lot to digest and it's very serious the tone overall so trying to crack jokes and make sense of it all is sort of a meaningless endeavor so i don't think because, like, overall, let me actually, let's just go here. Hashtag dragonborn problems. <laughs> hey, what's going on, guys? Been done fucking around. I'll get through this episode. Um, so, I am, I think, at the end of the game. I'm on, like, dragon slayer or whatever the fuck it's supposed to be. Hmm. Oh, sorry. Mm. Hey, dragon. Hmm. Very, very monotonous, very bland. The audio levels are kind of fucked up. Oh, fire. What the shit is this? <laughs> Good job, Parthenite. Nice. Nice camera angle. Is this audio part of the game? Yeah, that's Good part of the job, game. It's part of the game. What? Yeah, I mean, it's like warning your brother, mm. as he says. Okay. 
where do I place it? Because I think the issue I have with Skyrim is the audio levels and the commentary. I'm pretty sure it's just because the game itself isn't entertaining enough. Like, it's, it's so much running around. It is an, an absurd amount of running around, going through dungeons, listening to NPCs talk. It's just not an engaging enough Let's Play experience. And I think that's my problem with it. I think, I think that's, that's accurate. All right, uh, Tomb Raider. Boom, right there. I think this is still a good Let's Play endeavor. All right, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to an episode of Rise of the Tomb Raider. Shut the hell up. Uh, Audio was interesting. Right, so last time we kind of escaped from a thingamabob and we found Sophia, which turned out to be skinny. Jacob's. That's so worth it. I don't oh know. Oh my if, god. I don't know if my that audio worked? is Good. too high fucking or the game is too low fucking or fucking shit. Mm. God. You're so good. Yeah, okay. Yeah. You couldn't. That would make huh. sense. So this is the commentary's bland. All right, let's see what we have here. So Leaves a lot to be desired. Fire arrows. arrows please? Oh, fire arrows. How convenient. Obviously. Okay. That is terrible. So it's, I guess it's still Middle Mouse for I guess those qualify as special arrows, they call it. Thank you, Lara. Yes. Our people have been warned. To and the audio is. have at my disposal fire arrows, because those, those are. Grayish. Let's continue. Because I have a feeling. Is the audio better in the penultimate right, episode? On, guys. Welcome back to an episode of Rise of the Tomb Raider. Just a little bit. Uh, last time we kind of did a tomb. And encountered, I wouldn't say encountered some deathless ones, but we kind of sneak by some deathless ones. I wonder when we're going to encounter some. Maybe like this episode? Because it seems like they're in our way at the moment. And that's not how I encounter them. <laughs> Man, I have just been fucking up all oh, over the place. It's um. Did I, and then I just needed to go up. There is this camera editing. This horrible because I cannot see shit. What in the fuck is this angle? Cursing all over the place. Like, I'm not sure I can't like it, but it awesome. does Maybe I can look some shit. feel no, nothing. Can't a little anything. more recent as a whole. Like as a, as a, a so hail of my let's play. Thee, Lara. This, uh, There's a right, little so I do have to go over here. coherence? Go through the ice, find more way editing. the lost city of Katesh. Okay. Because the ledges are on the opposite side. No wonder why I couldn't fucking do it. Maybe this should do it? There we go. There, whoa. Uh, except now I can, there we go. I did it. God, that took forever. I am not gonna show you all of that because that took for goddamn ever. Holy mm. shit. Hmm. I shouldn't have even said anything. Okay. That's probably the quality of the commentary overall. Interesting. Actually, see what the finale holds. I'm curious. I'm curious to see how that is. All right. Hey. Still nothing. All was destroyed. Shut up, Anna. We can save the world together. I'm not <laughs> having it. The cost is too high, Anna. Interesting. This is some manhunt ass commentary or a blood rain type commentary, which is interesting to say the least. Yeah, the quality of the video and let's play overall definitely has increased. I'm thinking it's about here. I think it's the top of okay. I think it's at the very top of okay. I'm pretty sure I can live another GTA clone like GTA, but Sleeping Dogs. Sleeping dogs in. Um, so that'll maybe occur after I do a couple of. Commentary is a little lacking. Bug the. <laughs> <laughs> Arguing. Yeah. Like GTA, but this is just like a more serious Saints Row. Naz, that name seems familiar. I was already here. I'm not sure I'm sold on this. I thought I liked it a lot at the time, but... <laughs> okay, that fucking works. <laughs> Good God. 
that's going to be the end of this episode, guys. <laughs> Jesus. Hope you guys enjoyed. That was a uh, probably a very entertaining episode. Commentary shit. Game was boring. I don't necessarily regret it, but the commentary just doesn't hold up. I think it's about here. I actually think it's... This might be... About here? And then Sleepy Dogs is pretty similar in scope to here? Yeah, it's probably here. Dark Souls 2. 54 minutes. 56 minutes. 45. 54. Is this even worth it to even try to figure it out? Because everything is like 54, 35, 36. And then it's like, there was a time here. Here is when I started uploading it. And then I had a sort of change of scenery, which did not allow me to upload for quite some time. And as such, it really hindered my content creation spark, um, which is why there is a five year gap between these two videos. And it, it sort of lent itself to a very stunted creative mindset. And I just wanted to sort of get these edited down. I really started to find my stride in what is my current philosophy behind video editing. And I really, I, I can't negate, I can't ignore the, the first half of these episodes because that, that's just part of, part of what it is. I, I didn't think to edit the, the videos down. I thought it was just going to be just VODs. Because of that, Dark Souls 2 is, um, about the same as Portal. Uh, maybe a little bit higher because like the second half was like fine. Probably about here. And maybe actually, let me actually look at one uh, here. Let me just pick a random one. Audio is a little fine. What is here? I'm still here. Sure. Say something. The first half I can't negate. It's similar in style to Kingdom Hearts 2, where I didn't edit many things out and sort of included everything. But because the quantity of the videos are similar, I think it's actually worse than Dark Souls 1. And I think this is pretty accurate. Then comes the three. I'm going to just do this and still go through them, but I'm pretty sure these are going to be my, be my rankings because I've really strived to put in a little more quality into the more recent Let's Plays I've done. Not necessarily particularly because I've had the time and the creative arc back, but it's more, I've really wanted to find things that take me outside my comfort zone as an editor and trying to do at least one new thing every Let's Play, which is what I sort of wanted to do. Um, all the way since like before Borderlands, which if you look at Borderlands, which I didn't showcase it in this video, but um, I started to like incorporate picture and picture stuff, which is sort of good because I was sort of like a, a two player co op let's play sorts. Um, you know, and the man had the death counter and Tomb Raider had like replays and all this sort of stuff, but all in all, there wasn't really anything new or fresh in these games until Dark Souls 3. And to exemplify this, one is a webcam, which is obviously like going to be important. Dark Souls 3. But 
There was this previously. There was the, the showcases of like the highlights. Because this was streamed, I can actually incorporate Twitch chat. Audio is still kind of shit too. Yeah, the audio is pretty shit. Because, the, because I think, I think what happened was I had an audio gate on this audio, and it sort of limited my visibility, I'll say, or my my audio, which may not be like this may not be as important as it was. So I think I think this is at the very bottom of good because. Yes, the quality was good, the commentary was fine, but I'm pretty sure the audio is the thing that's really holding this back. Um, it might even be at the very top of okay, um, but I still think like the, the, the content inside this LP is actually pretty good. Granted, I'm sure there was still some things that were a little bland at times. I think it's pretty great. And then, of course, you have the big two. What I consider the, not necessarily holy grails, but I really put a lot of time. And granted, I probably could have even cut out a lot of just random bullshit previously on Elden Ring into these let's plays, but even still, as like incorporating previously, like Dude, audio the quality. The worst mistake of his life. I almost made the worst mistake of my life. And now back to the show. I want... Commentary. For strategy. Maybe if I just attack there's him now. Cohesion. There's, there's transitions. Okay, well now... Transition we'll... was a little long, I'll admit. But yeah, it's... Yeah, it's... I mean, it's I good. One, but it's good. It's it standard. It's... Like the... It's... Go here. A little long comment. Fuck. It's he's good. He's good. He's good. Granted, some of these episodes can be dropped, but I didn't know that. I didn't know that at the time. This is blind. So now you might be wondering. Let me finish my rankings. Where is Liza P? So, Liza P. Liza P was, I think, the best Let's Play I've ever done. Not only was it streamed, but it has its own story, and there is jokes. There's, there's still this previously card. The audio is good. The joke here, the audio levels are good. I can't make this jump? Are you serious? What kind of jank ass Pinocchio you had a running start? Whatever. I could have done the, a little more editing here, but I it's fine. Just a simple R2 would do that. Oh, an uh, uh, ambush. You motherfucker. Is my audio still fucked up? Hello, you fucking asshole. Decay? What is this? What are you fucking doing? Hmm. I still curse pretty often. And not nearly as much as, as everything else. As I used to. Talk to Geo to get a, a cube? What kind of shit is this? Oh my god. I do still get frustrated. That is so... I will admit. I do still get frustrated at times. So, it's not the end of the world. There's titles, there's chapters. Oh. Mm. There's transitions, there's edits. I think this, so far, is the best one I've ever done. Last minute adjustments. I have a feeling this is, this is not as good as I keep thinking. Hmm. Pretty close. 
I'm pretty sure this is fairly accurate. I like it. I think this is it. I think this is the final list. Obviously, there's um, there's a lot of interesting, interesting let's plays I've done over the years, underwhelming ones. Okay. Um, things that I thought have would be okay at the time, things that I thought would be interesting, didn't necessarily hold up. Um, things like the Mass Effect series, I did way too early on when my audio was not the quality that I should that it should have been. Um, and there's just not enough good commentaries on my earlier playthroughs like Skyrim, Dark Souls, Sleeping Dogs. Just these these random one off say one off games, but like Saints Row had dog shit commentary, dog shit audio. It was very uninspired, I'll say. Even though it was sort of it's just a cheap knockoff of all Shamno Wows, which is I don't know. My playthrough is just sort of generic. For Saints Row, which is, I guess, the the result of me not knowing what I wanted to do, and just sort of trying to ride on the coattails of someone else, as opposed to me trying to find out my own style and become my own self. These were the things that I was not yet looking for. Or, or trying to accomplish myself and just trying to, to copy someone else. And, that, and that's obviously not the best recipe for success. So 